Hi everyone, in this tutorial we will configure our Streamlit web app. So if you go to the official documentation of Streamlit, uh, here you will find a property with the name set underscore page underscore config. So this property basically allow us to configure our page like uh, if you want to change the title of the page, if you want to change the favicon or the page icon, you can change them with the help of this property. So if I run my application, let me run it. Okay, so right here is the REM streamlet RUN run and uh, then SCRAP or scrapper dot py hit enter. Okay, and currently, if you focus on the title of our web page so the title is scrapper okay so scrapper dot streamlit okay so this is the title and uh, the favicon is streamlit logo okay so if you want to change these two things then you need to use this property and inside this property you need to pass these arguments okay so uh, let's change the page configuration uh, first of all here uh, one thing that you need to remember is that uh, your this set patch configuration property should be on the top of all other uh, functions and properties of Streamlit. Okay, so here uh, I will write st dot set set underscore pag patch underscore c o n f i g set underscore patch config okay and then inside this uh, patch config i need to pass my properties okay uh, so here as you can see we can pass page title page page icon then layout okay and then the initial sidebar stat okay? and finally you can pass menu items okay so uh, let's change the title of the page first so just write here page title is equals to and uh, i will give a title like a web uh, s c r a p or web scrapper okay and if i save it and uh, if i rerun my application you will see here that we will have web scrapper and yeah this is our web scrapper okay and now let's change this icon okay so just uh, right here put comma then pag page icon is equals to so now here you can uh, write the name of the icon or you can paste the icon itself okay so if you go to this website which is i think web fx.com so i will give the link down below here you will find bunch of emojis and uh, different types of favicons okay so as you can see here we have pupil okay and these are all the pupil icon like for example if i want to use this emoji as my favicon then i just need to copy this name okay and just uh, paste it here okay let's save it and uh, let's rerun our application and here you will see the icon and yeah this is my icon okay so if i search for a word icon like uh, okay so i think it's a great favicon for our web web app okay so just copy it okay and now let's paste it here paste it let's save it and let's rerun our web scrapper okay and yeah this is our web icon okay and uh, you can have some other properties in this as well okay like uh, you can change the layout so the default layout of our uh, streamlit web app is centered okay so if i copy this layout okay so just copy this line copy and uh, paste it here just put comma paste it here and now you will see that we will have a wide layout okay so as you can see uh, currently everything is centered okay so if i rerun it you will see a wide okay and yeah this is our output okay so this is how layout work okay and then we have initial sidebar state okay so uh, our currently our application doesn't have any sidebar so just create a sidebar and just play with this property and then we have menu items okay so these menu items basically represents of uh, the menus in our hamburger okay so uh, these are the get help property okay and report bug about okay as you can see here we have these properties get help report a bug okay about and uh, and for these properties you can set your custom uh, urls or your custom text okay as you can see here for the about 
attribute we have this value okay so this text so this is how this set uh, page configuration work and this is how you can configure your web app i hope that uh, you have enjoyed this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will see something new till that point bye bye